evening. What did you hear that? I thought something was coming in. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear your footsteps. Shh, did you not hear that? It's like a woman's guys and welcome to a very very wet haunted hill tonight so we've come to this Georgian mansion you will recognize it from the thumbnail um, and we just stood on the amazing stairwell at the moment so I've done a bit of research on this place and I believe this building was completed in 1808 but the family that owned the house or lived in the area actually had the land from about 900 years ago so there's a lot of history with the land not just with this place um, the building has had many uses over the years it's been a family home it's been a hospital during world war ii i think it was it's been a boarding school and then later it unfortunately failed as uh, being a hotel and a bed and breakfast so lots of history there to absorb with such an amazing place as far as the uh, the ghost stories go um, and that's what they are you know I, I think there's one picture of a lady in a window um, which I've only had a quick glimpse of um, there's a man called Martin on YouTube I've forgotten the full uh, title of his channel but he does an amazing documentary on this place well worth watching Actually, is that the one it. we saw earlier on yes yeah, yeah that's, that's brilliant so, incredible documentary but yeah in, in terms of the hauntings that uh, go on here there's the lady in the window who was famously caught in a photograph in 1972 um, I'll have to look in to see you know if that photo has been validified or if it's been proven a hoax and um, there's a boy who said to haunt these very stairs he say, said to sit on the stairwell um, and that's the blue-eyed boy who apparently died in a nearby pool to here he's also been seen walking around the hall in different places with a lady in a black dress so again that could be the same lady that was seen in the window might be a totally different lady you know we don't know how many deaths occurred here what happened here over the years and then the final one is what people have seen when they've looked out of the hall and um, is a man in a long brown coat and if you see him it's time to leave the building only bad things are going to happen at that point but yeah we've got unfortunately we've got a lot of uh, contamination <laughs> tonight because uh, yeah it's been <clears throat> raining on and off it was just we you know we're in the area, we thought we we're going to have to come do yeah. it. We've never done this place before. And it was a like, lot, yeah, a lot of drippage. Yeah, one place we've got to check out. I'm hoping one day that this place will be kind of, you know, redone up and everything because it's an incredible place. Because mm, obviously yeah. it looked like they've, well, they've started yeah. years ago to you know, build it. You know, all up and everything. Um, but as you can hear now, uh, unfortunately, some of the towels are missing from the roof, and so I've got a lot of contamination. And if you see the floor there, mm, it's yeah, just where there's places you've got to, you know, stay yeah. away from here. Um, and then there is also I forgot one more ghost story. And again, that's all they are, you know, they're not proven, but it's something that we could possibly work with tonight. And it's good to actually have those historic ghost stories linked with the place, because a lot of the times we're coming in blind, and you know, we don't know where. We don't know the history, we don't know any of the stories behind the place. And the final one is that um, some of the nurses from when it was a hospital here have been sighted in the basement, so we'll be heading down there later as well. Or salary, always getting mixed up, what, <laughs> what we say in the UK. Um, 
But yeah, we'll have a we'll have a quick look around yeah. and we'll uh, let it go a bit dark and then start the yeah. investigation. So, if there are any spirits here with me now and here with us now, and you can hear my voice. Can you make yourself known, please? Now, you're going to have to do something really special for us this evening. This evening. What did you hear then? I thought someone was coming in. Coming into the building? Just because it sounds heavier than water. So you think footsteps? Nothing paranormal, I just think someone like human is here. Just because it feels well, it sounds heavier than the water dripping. But you were just calling out then, so could it be something to do with that? Mm. Okay, so, spirits, if you are here, <clears throat> in ever, any given normal circumstance, we'd love to hear your footsteps. But unfortunately, due to the rain coming into this building, we don't actually know if it's you or if it's just the rain. So if you could try and speak to us, either in our ears or through the microphone on the camera. Or do something really significant for us please that we know is not just the rain. Sounds like the house is talking. Weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just knock night vision off a minute. It is like dusk now. Yeah. But that is what view we've got in here at the moment. That's how dark it is inside. You can't see the light from outside, but it is going. Just seen a bat. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. It's always a bat. <laughs> if there's a little boy here now. Could you call out to us, please? Could you show yourself on the stairs, the way people have said you have done before? Or maybe you're someone that's attached to the land and you lived here many years ago. If so, what was that? I think it's just every now and again I can hear it, and I think it's just water landing mm -hmm. somewhere which makes it sound like a footstep, and it's actually not. That sounded like the uh, the banister actually shook, mm. like someone holding on to a banister, and yeah. it was a bit loose. I mean, if that was you, Spirit, and if you're trying to hold on to the banister, can you do that again for us, please?
Yeah, like I say, the <laughs> contamination, I think, is the worst we've ever had here. <clears throat> Does. And like thinking some, something's actually walking, but it's just like the raindrops doing like this sort of form. Yeah. If I've explained that right. I think I think I get what you mean. <laughs> what so. we're gonna do is we're gonna head this way a bit. Rianne's mm -hmm. gonna start the ghost tube. Yeah. Yeah, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to head into one of the other rooms, but we're going to leave the equipment on the stairs just in case, you know, it triggers while we're away from it. We'll run a bit of ghost tube over here and um, just see if we get anything significant through, anything linked to the, the ghost stories. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll head downstairs as well. But like I say, the contamination is really, really bad. So good to see this place, but yeah, we've just come on the wrong day, unfortunately. Mm. It's one of them things. Yeah, because we've wanted to do this place ever since we first saw it on YouTube, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, Was it Ouija Brothers or Dead Cold came yeah, here? And yeah. ever since then, we were like, you know, want to do it. Big thank you to those teams, because they, yeah. they do inspire all those the smaller teams and everything. Yeah. They're so good to watch and get so they many are. good ideas from. And it's the real paranormal as well, yes, which we just love. definitely. OK, we've not actually introduced ourselves yet. So my name's Rianne. My name's James. Can you tell us your name, please? So we know who we're trying to communicate with. Maybe if you're a bit wary of us, you could go over to that blue light on the stairs now. We do come with peace and respect. And we don't mean you any harm by being here. It's just mad to me again. That was like a wow. <laughs> Can you tell us anything about the history of this beautiful home? So we're just trying to communicate with you. Find something out about this place. What is happening where you are? Don't matter to me. Yeah, I've worked out now it's certain. Turn the camera around a minute. Yeah, it's certain foods that I eat that just, as soon as I come out investigating, just make my stomach play havoc. So we've had a chippy today, and that is one thing that just uh, sets my tummy off big time. So it's not good. I've noticed I always look into the viewfinder rather into the lens. I need to, uh, to get that right. So I'm always looking to the side rather than straight at you. <laughs> what happened to me? We don't know. That's what we've come here to find out. Maybe if you showed yourself to me now, I could try and help to find out what happened to you. I think we'll head back here uh, through mm -hmm. and possibly be down in a minute. Nothing's changed here. Could you move something for us, please? Bathroom. We've got you a. Have to show us where the bathroom was. We've got a bath in here. Wouldn't say it's a uh, 
you in this bath? Or in this room? It's a very big bathroom. I wouldn't mind that bathroom there. No. Nice, that would. It was just my tummy again if you heard a slight. <laughs> Can you make a clear loud sign to where the bathroom was? Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is just head down and yeah. see if we get anything down there because there's too much contamination yeah. up here. We've tried. Dark. Dark, it is getting dark. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. If you do want us to stay up here, you're going to have to uh, try and do something big for us now, please. That's just my tongue getting mad. You take over the camera, mm -hmm. then. Yeah, Spirit, so if you do want us to stay on this floor with you... My stomach's going absolutely nuts. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Some curse behind that camera. I'm good. Good. Need to get some better lungs. <laughs> some that can just uh, take the dust. There's a bat flying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now, I think. Good. That was close to my face, wasn't it? It was kind of close, yeah. Yeah, I felt it. Not the, uh, the wind coming off it. <laughs> so you want us to stay on this floor? Can you tell us why you want us to stay here? Or who it is we're talking to now? I'm telling you before, keep your hands out of your pockets because you look like you want to interacting and I'm sticking my it's just a, a common thing to do. It is. It's just comfy isn't it? Mm, it is. It keeps your hands warmer. Yeah. Just noticed as well we have another bath in this room as well as two chairs and a mirror. If this was the bathroom can you let us know in some way? Can you move one of these chairs? Can you see the chairs through here? Just about. Yeah, can go up and step back here so you can see a bit more. That was just my tongue there. For the 30th time. <laughs> Yeah, could you push something in this room, move a chair? So we're going to head off now into a lower part of this wonderful hall. Again, if you don't want us to go, let me know now, please. My mind was just making up things. Running footsteps? Yeah. I heard that. <laughs> but obviously we can't say it is no, because no. of water. It's too much water. It was like, I'm just trying to think how that could be caused by the water. And I suppose if it, a lot of water's kind of built up on the surface and it's all run off together. It's like yeah, drip, 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 drip. That's okay, quick. That's, that's, you know, my possible explanation. Yeah. For it. I want it to be... You know, the little boy that haunts here running, but, you know, again, we'll let you decide at home, but the chances are it'll be a build-up of water dripping. Yeah. 
But we are going to head down there now, just because it seems like it's uh, well, finished. Finished, yeah. <laughs> we are finishing up here. I know we've been wrapping up for that a while. Is the do, you want, do you want us to go? Do you want us to just get out of your house? Is that what you want? If you want us to go, just do something big for us. One loud bang. I mean a really loud bang. Shake the building. Tip, a chair. That, tip, tip a chair over. Or if you want us to stay, just let us know through this app here and talk to us through this as you may have been doing already. Again. <laughs> yeah, I think probably best heading downstairs. Yeah. We may get more contamin less contamination down in the basement if it's got a solid floor. So yeah. we'll, uh, we'll head down there now. Mm -hmm. Hold it there, down into the cellar just so we can get away from the, the dripping noise and it's really impressive down here to be fair. We'll just have a quick look around and um, we're going to get some equipment set up in a minute. The only thing we have got contamination with is bats down here. So we're and gonna a little have, bit of drippage still. Yeah but I think when we're in the main bulk of it yeah. we'll be okay. We'll have a quick look around. So I think this bit here is just the end of the stairs but yeah. Opens up look at these doors straight away. They're creepy. Why have they got like cell doors down here? You see that? Yeah. So was it a hospital, did you say it was before? Yeah, it was um, just like a soldier's hospital during the, the war. So again, it was down here I think they used as a, as the hospital part. Yeah. Um, and this is where the nurses supposedly have been seen in the past. Got another room for the <coughs> it's a big saddle, I like it. And like, as soon as you come into here, we're just quiet for a minute. Just going to darkness as well, it's pitch black down here. But we've got very little contamination now, which is brilliant. Yeah. Here a few drips. So if you have been walking around us tonight and we've been ignoring you, this is your perfect chance. If you run around us now, stamp your feet or make a loud noise. That's just my tummy, I'll come on. <laughs> we'll know straight away that it's you. I've got a drip through there onto a cabinet that we've got to take into account for. Did you recover here? Were you an injured soldier? If you were, could you go and speak into that camera? That the lady's holding now. Her name's Rianne. Go and whisper your name to us. You've got to think how far that water's made it through. I think my watch is just the bottom side of it. I thought it was just telling me to move. 
you've got it's a worry how far this water is coming through into this yeah. house. You've got to think it's three mm -hmm. three floors above us, and you can still hear it dripping into the. Because you the can basement. see on the floor I little can't, puddles. I can't literally see a thing. Well, from the viewfinder, you mm. can see like we puddles. We are in flight mode now. I haven't used this in my hand for a long time, so I'm just gonna see if anything will come close to me. So I'm holding the green light in my right hand. This is called a K2 meter. And apparently, if you come close to it, you can change the colours on it. Do you want to show me how it works? Because I don't think this one's ever worked. You come and touch my hand. More colours will light up. I thought I could hear voices then, but mm. like people. We'll go through. <coughs> I can't see. No, no, I'm <laughs> that looks like it once held a haunted doll. It does. <laughs> <clears throat> put the K2 in there. That was just stuff in my pocket. It's a haunted K2 meter now. <laughs> it's that I wish it was. It has to be glass boxed away. I wish it was. Oh, my tummy's going to have another episode. Oh no. The stuff. Making loads of noise. I'll start the ghost tube again. At the moment, it's really quiet, apart from that dripping. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unlock additional filters and colours. Right, okay. So I'm holding the device this time, a right hand that will allow you, we believe, to talk to us. Well, we hope it can. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody does know, actually. Uh, apart from the, the creator of it. Um, nobody yeah. knows. No. <laughs> Just know. You've not even got the song right. I always get that one mixed up. Yeah. It's nobody does it better. I was kind of on the right lines. <laughs> If you like that singing, which, that was uh, very good, babe. I, very I doubted, good. I doubted. Don't go shy now. <laughs> but yeah, if you recognise that song, show us in some way. I won one. One what? A voice. Can use our energy. Use our voices. She won't leave. Who won't leave? Can you tell us her name? Yeah, we never normally rely on the apps this much, but with the contamination we've got tonight, I think it's the only way, you know, we can keep the, the yeah. momentum going or we just be kind of just stood here waiting for a full body <laughs> apparition, which would be incredible, but yeah. the chances of it are going to be really slim.
This would be a great time for you to make a noise. Show us your footsteps. Show us your footsteps. <laughs> walk walk yeah. around us. <laughs> I hate winter because I'm always messing with zips and then I'm like in the end, I'm like, oh, you've got stand like still. There. Just as a. I feel like uh, we're up against it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so just to add a bit of context to, you know, how we've come to this place and how we've got here. I want you to go. Yeah, we will be doing soon, <laughs> don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, we've... It's inside. It's inside. What's inside? So are you telling us we need to go because it's inside? Something's inside me. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Yeah, just a bit of context. We've obviously come to Haunted Hill tonight, the mansion. Um, we went to about four locations last night and they were just impossible to get to, a lot of them, and then others. Fails. Yeah, just all fails. Um, we've been hit hard by the weather. My stomach's going mad now. <laughs> the, the camper van, I think, is on its last legs. I keep having to whack the starter motor to get it going. Um, probably have to bring the, uh, the breakdown cover as soon as we get out of here. How did you get here? Yeah, we're just on the bed that now actually. We came in a, a, a vehicle uh, known as a camper van. They were, I believe, introduced in the 19, late 1950s maybe. I think the VW was revolutionary as the first camper van. Yeah, yeah, I think the elements right. are against us this weekend. Yeah, yeah, and we just had a washout, complete washout. Because we've wanted to like do a few locations, a few videos for you guys, um, like one day after the next to get ahead on videos. I mean, it's, well, it's, it's not just that, it's Halloween, isn't it? So, yeah. And there's a full moon out. It's not that you can see it tonight because it's so no. overcast, but we've got some good shots at the cemetery where we went last night. But yeah, I think, I think we're just up against it. Yeah, the elements. Yeah. So do you still want us to go? If you do want us to go, can you make a loud, clear noise? Can you do one big thing for us before Lady of the Night? Oh dear. Oh, it's not Black Lady, Lady of the Night. Is that who the lady is that's seen here? Was she a visitor to this house? Maybe used by the men here? If you are here, lady, apologise, we don't know your name. If you are here and you can hear my voice, can you walk into us, into this room, so we can hear your footsteps? Shh, did you not hear that? No. It's like a woman's voice going. Is it? No, okay. no. That was distant like in another part of the house. Almost like a cry of a, I don't know, a woman or something. No, I didn't hear. No, I didn't hear. Is that a dog? Mm. I'm just hearing things now. <laughs> right, just stand quiet, hear. stand quiet then, stand quiet then. I 
That's just my tummy. <laughs> Why are you here? If that was you that I heard cry a minute ago, could you do it again now, please? Maybe I was right about what I said. Maybe the lady that's been seen here was a visitor for the gentleman of the house. If that is the case, can you let us know some way? What? What again? Um, make a knock. Bang on the stairs. Or project your voice again. So we've got very little tonight so far, possibly got a female screech or scream. We've had three big contaminating factors. We've had the drippage, we've had my tummy tonight which has just been going bonkers <laughs> and I'll make sure I don't have a chippy again before an investigation <laughs> because it's too much contamination. And then we have had bats here as well. So there's a lot of you know things to get around. But we're going to do one last bit of calling out here in the centre of the cellar and kind of the centre of the house. Do bats make squeaky noises? See my tummy keeps going a little bit. Yeah, and then I'm just tummy starting out as yeah. well. So. This is your last chance. Speak to us tonight, we will probably be back. If you do want us to come back, can we hear your voice again now please? And if you don't want us to come back, either running footsteps or a big loud bang. Yeah, it is, unfortunately. Yeah. Too much contamination tonight. I'm glad um, we've done this place yeah, though. Yeah, an amazing place yeah. to see. How long it's got left, it, it doesn't look promising and it's so sad to see such an amazing house, you know, fall into mm -hmm. such disrepair like this. Um, there's another place that we went to just slightly up the coast from here, um, which I think is, I'll put, I'll put it back on the channel if it's not there at the moment, because it was just a morning time investigation. Um, but that was Plaz Gwynfrin, I think it was called. Um, which is an amazing old hotel, but unfortunately it's fallen into a, a state of disrepair and, um, you know, the roof has fallen through and everything. And unfortunately, you know, the future of this place isn't looking bright at the moment. Um, but yeah, check out that. I'll leave the link to the guy's video um, who did the amazing kind of history of this yeah, place. Yeah, phenomenal. Um, what you call a documentary on this incredible hall. Um, so well presented and everything, you know, very well worth checking out. Again, check out Ouija Brothers, Dead Cold, um, not sure who else has been here. There's been other teams here, check out their videos from here as well, because uh, they probably caught more than we did. But again, we might have caught more stuff, just um, the contamination's been yeah. really bad tonight. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave us a comment, you know, should we come back here? Is it worth the risk, you know, of the building in the state it is? Or, you know, has whatever was here moved on now? Let us know guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you all soon. Bye guys.